So, a month ago, I wanted to play Team Fight Tactics. The way that I've known about that game is through the top two rows on Twitch. I wanted to see a game, a new game that had a viewers base, so that if I start playing that game somehow, I'll get some of those viewers, you know, that logic. And I actually did start playing Team Fight Tactics and I fell in love. Here's the thing, if you know about the game if you or if you don't know about the game, my rant here is gonna be speaking to both. So. I gave Team Fight Tactics a month. I think I've played over 400 games in total, and actually, all of those games are on YouTube right now. You can see them. And here's the thing: it it my whole month. This is my third month trying to do the whole streaming thing and gaming and all of that. And I gave Team Fight Tactics. I think the first week, and then it took the next month. Here's the thing: it's brilliantly designed especially for someone like me someone who likes strategy games and you know those games that are like yugi especially that i had most of the knowledge about what the champions are or the legends or whatever you're gonna call him i've been playing league of legends for 14 years now so when i got in team fight tactics and i started playing i loved everything in it you can see from the very first beginning, I loved the art and I loved everything, but I didn't know the mechanics, what was the stages, the rounds, the carousel, the items, how those are the same items, designs, and almost names of those in League of Legends, but they act totally different, and, 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 and after a while, I've known all of that. Exactly like anyone else who gets in a new field, and by trial and error, and by smashing their heads against the walls, numerous times they finally learn and i did learn then i went into ranked and i tried and i got gold three gold four gold four gold three gold two gold one and yay now i'm gonna go into platinum and somehow i kept losing and now i'm back to gold three and then i realized whoa I am treating it exactly the same as I've treated League of Legends, where I keep telling myself the next game is gonna be different, the next game is gonna be different, and here's the thing, that's the key element or the key word here that I'm building that whole rant on, which is the next time it's gonna be different. Ladies and gentlemen, I am an addict. I've talked about that multiple times in multiple languages, in multiple platforms. And no, my addiction is not drugs. My addiction is not born. It's not sex. My, addic my addiction is video games and anime. And I've known. And I, it was sugar, by the way, for a long time. And I got an overweight and lost that weight. And I, weight is something I struggled with all my life. But I got addicted to going to the gym itself until I injured myself multiple, multiple times. I play martial arts. And here's the thing about my addiction. It has a keyword, and that keyword is the next time it's gonna be different. So, you know those slot machines that are the ones that are in Vegas? I've never played on those slot, slot machines, but I know that if I played on any of them for three, four times or something, I'm never gonna be able to stop. And if I stop, it's gonna be difficult, and it's gonna be hard, and it's gonna leave a test in my mouth exactly like the one that I have right now after playing Team Fight Tactics for months, and after playing League of Legends for over 14 years. Here is the thing. What are, what are the major differences between Team Fight Tactics and League of Legends and chess, for example? It's the element of luck, and it's not something that is by random. No, no, no. It's designed to be this way. Because if it was 100% on my skill, like I thought at the beginning, the way that I actually thought it's called Team Fight Tactics, that tactics word, I thought that's gonna be 100% reliant on my skill level. And yeah, it has a lot to do with skill, of course, to be able to formulate the best team, to be able to take the risks, to be able to, at a mm, glance, decide, yes, I'm gonna switch the board and I'm gonna change my champions on that board and I'm gonna do such and such and such. And then you're gonna study your opponents and see what, who plays what. And I've gotten first place many times. I've gotten first place with Bentacles. I've got, uh, sorry, that's some TFT jargon here, but I've gotten first place with Bentacles, with Country. Gotten a lot of first place with KDAs and got 10 KDAs on the board and I've seen the amazing power of having 10 KDAs on the board. But it's not 100% on your skill level. Nope. It has to do. It has a lot to do with luck. And this is the thing, guys. 
the not knowing aspect of any experience makes it addictive because we as humans in our brains we have something called wishful thinking which is we always hope that the things that we don't know about it's gonna be better than we it's gonna be better it's gonna be something that we hope for something that it's not the same terrible thing that has happened over and over and over and the whole system of orbs of uh, excuse me of random augments of the shop with its random uh, showing of uh, champions the whole structure of tft is heavily heavily dependent on that mechanics on that mechanic which is the same as a slot machine mechanic or you know rolling the dice so here's the thing yes I know that I am risk averse and I know that in my life I would have, have never been able to solve that Robic cube if you can see it if I didn't have the courage to destroy the imperfection good result that I got to get to the perfect result which is a complete cube yeah guys I can solve that cube in under four minutes if you want to see that so and I've been doing that since I was a child but it's the philosophy behind that so why am I ranting about all of that? Because the new set is coming on. It's called Inkborn and Fables. And it's simply a new, you know, a new skin. I'm not saying I'm mad about that. I love it. I'm, you know, I, I, I'm curious to play it. I'm looking forward to play it. After all, I've been playing Team Fight Tactics for over just a month now. And I've been watching the tournaments. And it's just new skins it's just new uh, uh, new text it's, there is not a whole lot to do about the mechanics or the tactics itself and i'm not being uh, you know uh, what you can call pot heart here or you know um, i'm not saying that because i kept losing ranked for the past couple days no 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 i'm most of my content over the years have been just about myself. I, this thing that you're seeing on YouTube right now, this is new for me, but I've been producing content on, for, on Facebook for years in Arabic. And every piece of content I've ever released, it was directed to me, guys. And I just bought it on public and published it because if there is anyone out there like me, I think they might get some use out of it. I hope that. And... I don't really uh, care about whether it's gonna be uh, the most popular opinion or not. No, 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 I'm just telling myself. Team Fight Tactics Inkborn Fables, as amazing as it can be, it will still be just a big slot machine. Yes, it has element of tactics. Of course, any slot machine also has some elements of skills in it. For sure, guys, the knowledge exists. But the element of luck, for guys like me, makes it extremely dangerous because it becomes so addictive so this is just you know a quick rant it's under 10 minutes um uh, if you want to start playing team fight tactics whether it's that set currently before the new set gets released and a set means a, a new patch guys it's uh, after uh, every three months a new set gets released so the new set is called Inkborn Fables. It's gonna be released pretty soon, I think, this week or the next week, I think. And whether you're gonna be playing it or not, just take care, please. It's not all tactics. It has a lot to do with luck. And whether you will be always from the top four, the game has eight players go in. If you are from the top four, you are considered the winner. If you are from the no, f fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth, you're considered the loser. And you lose LB based on that, or you win LB based if you're on the top four. And uh, that or that, just no. It's not all tactics. This is just me telling you about my experience after a month. I will be playing more team fight tactics for sure but i'm gonna cap myself because now i know that i'm an addict have an amazing day guys